Blake Angelos with Yamaha Corporation America here with the amazing DGX 650. This is a great piece. It's really fun. It's got 545 voices on board, 195 styles. Really nice looking product. It's got wood on the sides here, a nice screen in the top, a three-way speaker system. Let's talk about some of the things that are great about this instrument. So the first thing is the piano, obviously. It's an 88 note weighted graded hammer action and it has a great piano. This is the natural grand sound. It's very easy to get around on this product. On this side we have voices, on this side we have styles. So if I want to select voices, I have the whole list up here. One through nine are the pianos, 10 through 21 are electric pianos. So if I want to get to those, I can move this data wheel and select the sounds. I can see in the screen that it's moving through things like the cool electric suitcase EP. If I want to get to strings, well let's say I want to just get right to the strings. 0, 6, 4, there's a keypad. 0, 6, 4. So now I have the string sounds. If I want to check out some of the guitar sounds in here. 0, 4, 1. There's the steel string guitar. So if I want to layer a sound, I hit the dual button, it turns on the layered sound. There's my layered voice. Guitar and string ensemble, if I want to change that sound, I simply hold down that voice. There's a little finger here that says dual voice, press down. You hold it down for a few seconds, it takes you to directly what that voice is. And now I have a different string section here. So very easy to get around to split and layer voices. Let's say that I just want to get back to the piano. There's the really convenient portable grand button. Press that button, it takes me right back to a piano. Really cool function. Very easy to use. The other part of a keyboard like this are the styles that are built in, 195 built-in styles. All sorts of genres, 8-bit, 16-bit, ballads, swing and jazz, R&B. Let's go to the R&B section here. I can simply hit the style button, that's right, says very clearly style. It takes me to the categories here. I can select them using the data wheel here, or I can use the data entry button. So let's say I'm in here, here's an Afro-Cuban style. You have intros, main, main A, main B, and an ending. So if I want to start playing this, I can turn on my auto accompaniment, and it follows the chords in the right hand. So very cool. Lots of built-in styles, a lot of fun to play this instrument. But there's some really cool new features that they added to the DGX 650 as well. There's the Smart Chord feature and Style Recommender. I'll show both of those real quick. So I'm going to show you the Smart Chord feature. One of the things about, about these type of instruments is the style you can play with one finger. It's pretty cool. So if you're not a really great player, you can play with the accompaniment and one finger will get me a major chord. If I know a little bit more, if I play like a major chord, it'll recognize that. It'll recognize a minor chord. It'll recognize a ninth chord, and so on. But let's say you don't really, nah, I'm not really sure about that, but I know that when I play a C chord and then I play a D chord, it sounds, that's a major chord. These are all major chords with one finger. So now I have the smart chord setting on. Now when I play the C chord, it plays a major chord, I'm in the key of C, but in the key of C, the D chord is generally a minor chord. And sure enough, that's a minor chord. Now the five chord is gonna be a five seven chord. Sure enough, that's a five seven chord. So if I go back down to the C chord, and it does some kind of cool pop things as well. Um, different voicing, so if I play a B chord, it plays the G with the B in the bass. Now you may not know what that is, but it just sounds correct. It just gives you the capability of sounding really, really good. If I play a C sharp, it plays a diminished chord. So if I play that same chord progression, this one here,
And now if I take off smart chord, after I hit this 5-7 chord, listen, it's a major chord, but this chord's a major chord again. Another major chord. As opposed to with smart chord on. The diminished chord. The minor chord. And the 5-7 chord. That's really cool. That makes writing songs and enjoying music that much easier. And that's what a goal is with the DGX 650. So now I want to show you the style recommender. Let's say I'm sitting in front of the keyboard. And that's the riff I'm playing. And I don't really know what's a good style for that. You know, it's something that I've heard. It's a pop thing. The style recommender button. And I hit the start. And now it's waiting for me to play that riff. So if I play that riff, what it's going to do is I'm going to play that riff and it's going to recommend a style that's kind of similar to that rhythmic figure that I'm playing. So let's see what happens here. It'll do it for one measure and then it'll take me to that style. So I go. That's cool. It took me to a style that was, that was similar to that. I also have a list of a whole bunch of other styles. If I didn't like that one, if it chose one that I didn't particularly like, I can move it down and see what this one sounds like. I'll move it down. Let's see what this one sounds like. And so on. Style Recommender is a really fun way to sort of assist you in getting a style that works with whatever you're playing. So if I select Style Recommender and I play maybe something like this. It picked a Latin style. Now as I said before, a cool thing about the DGX 650 is the fact that it has a really nice three-way speaker system built in. But a great thing about this is that it also functions as a speaker system for mobile devices. So anything that has a 3.5 inch connector, like on the back of mobile phones, and you have your MP3s or your music inside, I can plug it directly into the back and use the speakers here as my speaker system. And these are great sounding speakers. It actually saves you a good 50 to 100 dollars just in using it as a mobile speaker system. Another thing, you notice that there's a USB 2 device right on the front panel here. What does that mean? I can plug in a USB stick and I can load files, MIDI files, but a great thing is that you can also record audio directly to a USB stick. That's a very cool, powerful feature that was added to the DGX 650. So an audio input speaker system for mobile devices and the ability to record to USB directly to a USB stick audio files. Another great thing with the USB connectivity is you can go to yamahamusicsoft.com and download tons of music. You can even buy books that are called the You Are the Artist series that have music from all sorts of artists that you can have the books, learn the songs. You can use the learning system that's built in that has music minus one, your tempo, wait for note, and you can use those files to learn those songs of many popular artists. That's at yamahamusicsoft.com. So, what comes in the box with the DGX 640? Obviously the instrument here. It also has a stand with it and a pedal. It is a great product for any home, anybody that's looking for a piano, a nice weighted action piano for their home with a nice speaker system. Really a great home keyboard. It's great for churches. In fact, one of the things I like to show is the fact that right now on this video, the audio is being passed out, the headphone output, to the video camera that's shooting me right now, but I can still hear the speakers. There's a function control that turns on the speakers so I can hear myself and I can still send audio to my cameraman. It's pretty cool. Or you can send audio to a mixer in a church. It's a very, very cool feature that they added to the DGX 650. So this is the DGX 650 from Yamaha. If you have any questions at all, go to fullcompass.com or talk to your Full Compass representative. I'm Blake Angels from Yamaha Corporation of America. Thanks for watching.